I don't know how I feel about Saw 2. Generally, I can say that I enjoyed the film and I genuinely think they made a great effort to try and ramp things up from the first film. I also think it's very clever, but I feel like it was a quite slow and there were too many characters. But I'll discuss what I mean by that in a moment. For the most part, this will be spoiler free, but I do want to discuss particularly the ending. So I will give a spoiler warning. Saw 2 was released in 2005, directed by Darren Lynn Barrisman, written by Lee Winnell and Barrisman. And this one, when I say ramp things up, basically we have a bigger space to play with and more characters. And I feel like that was their attempt to make it bigger and better because we have, I don't even know how many characters, six, eight people, um... And the fact that I don't know is kind of a point I'm going to make in a moment, um, but all in this house. And obviously they have to try and get out of this house. And the reason I think there are too many people is I personally, at least, never really built up an emotional connection with any of the characters. With the first film, because it's just the two of them, we get to know who they are. We get to know more about them as the film develops. And when things are tough, we feel the, well, I felt the emotional connection with them. With this one, I didn't care about any of them. I couldn't care less because we never really got the chance to build up that relationship with them. I'm not saying I hoped they all died and nobody got out, but I just, I wasn't bothered about anything that happened to any of them. And we never really got to understand their personalities. So we didn't know if their emotional responses were heightened because of this situation. For example, some characters were very angry. I mean, I mean, understandably. But some of them were lashing out more than others, whereas others were panicking. Is that how they would normally be? Is that their normal personalities? Or is this a result of their environment? One of the good things about Saw, and particularly the first film, is to see how the human character responds to that kind of unusual, unexpected, unpredictable situation. But because we don't get the chance to really get to know anybody with this one, we can't really tell if it's an atypical response for them. So I feel like they tried. They definitely made the effort to make it bigger and better by bringing in more characters, giving us more room to play with. But I feel like that actually let itself down. So I don't think it quite worked as well as they perhaps were hoping it would do. However, I still think it's a very well-written story. I think that Jigsaw is a very interesting character. I don't want to say too much about him as I'm not sure how much people will know going into this, but certainly I found that part of it to be really fascinating and not the direction I was expecting this film to take. So I really think they did the right thing with that part of it. With regards to it being scary, it definitely isn't scary. I'm learning now that so, at least based on the first two films, although they are technically horrors, I'm not finding them scary, but I am finding them intense. And for me, what I found really unusual for me with this film is that the blood made me feel sick to my stomach. Normally, blood in horror doesn't bother me, but I think the blood in this film was a lot more squelchy, a lot more veiny, and that makes me feel sick. And I feel for me, this was... Th there were several moments, even, even in the opening scene, the opening scene with the eye, I won't say what happened, but from the beginning... There were several moments where I had to look away because I felt, well, squeamish doesn't even cut it. There are many times in this film where I felt sick. So it doesn't scare me, but it does cause some really strong, unpleasant emotions. And obviously that's um, that's part of the fun of, of a lot of films like this. So I did like it, but I feel like it wasn't... I didn't have a stronger connection with it as I did with the first film. With the first film, I was invested in learning more about the characters and wanting to know what would happen to them, and I really cared. I didn't care about anybody in this film, and that, to me, meant that it, it wasn't as emotional. But I will say it, it was a lot more squeamish and a lot more disgusting. Um but it worked very well in that regard. So, spoiler from now, I'm going to discuss the ending. And I feel like the ending 
proved to me that it was a very well written film because things were developing well but ultimately it would be how the film ends that would leave me either feeling pleased with things or feeling a little bit deflated and I have to say I did not expect as I said this is a big spoiler of course I did not expect them to go into that locked room at the end and the fact that we got that nod back to the first film and being in that environment again, it was just, it was brilliant. And I never expected to find out what would happen with those characters after the fact. So that was pretty delightful. And then the deceit with certain characters and their involvement in this game and carrying on John's legacy. It was a really good way of also saying, if this film does well, and we get to do a third one. This is how we're going to carry it on after John's cancer gets him. And I thought that was pretty clever because a lot of films, particularly horrors, will have a, a character, whether it's a protagonist, an antagonist, and they'll be a really powerful character, but due to the nature of horror films, they'll die. And then they're like, well, what do we do now? We're just going to do a bunch of prequels instead so that we can carry on the story because we've shot ourselves in the foot. So I actually think they did a great thing by saying we've created this brilliant character with John. We've given him this great backstory and this very strong reason for carrying out these games, as it were. But we know that he's going to die, but we don't want Saw films to end. So we're going to find a way to carry it on rather than just going to do prequels like a lot of other horror films do. So massive credit to them for doing that. Uh, I think it worked very well. I'm looking forward to Saw 3. I am still very much excited about watching all of the Saw films to watch the new one. Obviously, if I get to film five or six or seven and I'm bored, I might not continue. But for now, it's it's looking hopeful. I'm generally impressed with the pacing of the films, the development of the narrative, the level of gore and bloodshed and unpredictability. If things continue in this direction, I think I'm going to be in for a treat.